in this video let us see about the graph traversal so to solve any problem on a graph we need mechanism for traversing the graph the graph traversal algorithm can also be called as the graph search algorithms so there are uh, two main types of uh, algorithm for traversing uh, the first algorithm we call it as the depth first search so it is called as dfs and the other algorithm we call it as the breadth first search so depth first search and breadth first search are the two uh, traversal algorithms which is used in graph now let us explore about the depth first search so we generally call it as dfs so this dfs uh, algorithm this is a recursive algorithm that uses an idea of backtracking so uh, this dfs will uh, progresses uh, by expanding the starting node and then it will go deeper and deeper until uh, the goal node is found or until a node that has got no children is encountered it will uh, progress now this uh, dfs uses the uh, data structure called as the stack so that is the main uh, highlight of this depth first search this depth of depth first search will use the stack data structure so when a dead node is reached the algorithm will backtrack returning to the most recent node so now let us uh, see out with the example so let us consider this graph and let us uh, start using the uh, stack data structure to uh, perform the traversal of the depth first search so say that you have got uh, different uh, nodes here and now let us see how to uh, perform the traversal by using the dfs so let us uh, draw the stack data structure so in this stack data structure and um, in the output sequence we have to write down the uh, nodes which we are visiting so we will perform two operations in the stack what are the two operations of stack is one is push operation another is pop operation so whenever we encounter or whenever we come across a node then we push it into the stack and when all the uh, neighboring nodes are visited for a, a particular node then we perform the pop operation so if there is no nodes which are unvisited then you perform the pop operation and whenever you visit every node you perform the uh, push operation so let us start having the uh, node a as the uh, source node or the uh, first node that we are going to start our traversal okay so let us start from a so first we will visit the a node a so node a is visited so let us uh, push it into the uh, stack so let us write down a and even in the output sequence let us uh, write down a now check out what is a neighboring node for a so what is a neighboring node for a you have got b and s now for b and s we have to write down in sequence uh, the one single neighboring node of a which is coming in sequence is b so let us uh, write down and push it into the stack the node b fine and let us now see uh, write down in sequence node b and now what is there in the top of the stack is node uh, b now check out what is the neighboring node for node b so the neighboring node for is there any neighboring node for node b there is no neighboring node so now what are we supposed to perform is we have to perform the pop operation so let us pop out this node b now what is there in the top of the stack we have node a right now come back to node a and check out is there any neighboring nodes of a which is unvisited yes there is a node say s which is unvisited so now let us write down that we are going to visit the node yes so let us visit node yes let us write down in sequence now what is there in the top of the stack is node yes now let us see what are the neighboring nodes of yes so the neighboring nodes of s are c and g so let us write down one node into push it push one node into the stack so we'll take it in the alphabetical order so let us push the node c into the uh, stack okay fine so the c is pushed and we are writing down in the sequence the c now what is there in the top of the stack is node c now let us see what are the neighboring nodes of c so the neighboring nodes of c is d e and f so let us take out in the alphabetical order so let us first visit the node uh, d so let us write down and the push it into the stack and let us write down in sequence the node d so we'll write down node d now 
what is there in the top of the stack in the top of the stack we have got node d now for node d is there any neighboring nodes which is not visited no there is no neighboring node so what are we supposed to do is we have to pop this node d out of the stack fine so now what is there in the top of the stack now currently it is c so let us now check out for the uh, neighboring nodes of c for neighboring nodes of c now we have got uh, the node which is unvisited it is e and f so we'll consider e now let us push e into the stack fine and let us write down in the sequence too now what is there in the top of the stack now it is e now for e we have to check out what is a neighboring node so is there any neighboring node for e yes we have a uh, node h so let us visit the node h first so we will push it into the stack now and let us write down in the sequence too fine now what is there in the top of the stack in the top of the stack we have got node h now for node h check out what are its neighboring nodes so we have got neighboring node as g so now let us visit the neighboring node g and let us write down let us push it into the stack uh, and then the write down in the sequence so neighboring node is g now for g is in the top of the stack and now let us see what is the neighboring node for g so what is the neighboring node for g the neighboring node of g is f so let us write down in the top of the stack push it into the top of the stack the f node and write down in the sequence now what is there in the top of the stack now it's node f now for node f check out is there any nodes which is unvisited no every nodes neighboring nodes are visited now what do we do we perform the pop operation now g is in the top of the stack for g is there any nodes which are unvisited no so we'll pop out of the stack now for node h is there any neighboring nodes of h which is unvisited no so we'll pop it out for e there is no nodes of e which is unvisited neighboring nodes so we'll pop it out now we have in the top of the stack c so for c all the neighboring nodes are visited so we'll pop it out of the stack now for node s all the neighboring nodes of s are visited so we'll pop it out now for node a all the neighboring nodes of a are visited so we'll pop it out of the stack now the stack has become empty okay so the stack is empty now and this is the sequence by which we perform the uh, graph traversal by using the depth first search so this is how we use the stack data structure which uses the pattern of last in first out so the one which is inserted at the last is the one which is about to be popped out first fine so hope you have understood the uh, concept of the depth first traversal now let us uh, see how to perform the breadth first uh, traversal with an same example so let us draw first the uh, graph and in the depth first traversal we will be using the data structure called as a q data structure so let me draw this for you first so let us consider this graph so for this um, graph we are going to perform the traversal which is called as the uh, search so this breadth first search is the graph search algorithm that will begin at a root node and it will, and it will explore all the neighboring nodes and then for each of those uh, nearest nodes or the neighboring nodes this algorithm will explore their unexplored neighboring nodes and this will continue until it reaches the goal okay fine and this uh, dfs is accomplished with the help of a uh, q data structure so let us uh, now uh, write down in the same way as we have done for the uh, dfs so let us draw a q and we'll write down the output sequence parallelly fine so uh, let us have the starting node of this um, uh, graph to be as ea fine so let us start from uh, node a now find out who is the neighboring nodes of a okay so who are the neighboring nodes of a the neighboring nodes of a are b and yes so in the uh, queue we will be performing two operations what are the two operations that we perform in a queue is nq operation and the dq operation so nq and dq in nq operation you will insert the element into the queue and in dq operation you will uh, remove or delete the element from the queue now starting from a so let us see what are the neighboring nodes of a the neighboring nodes of a are b and yes right so now let us first insert into the queue let us perform nq of a okay and write down in sequence and now in the uh, queue we have got a and let us find out the neighboring nodes of a so neighboring nodes of a are b and yes so let us insert it now into the queue so b and yes fine 
Now, what do we have now for A? Now, let us check out in the uh, queue. The neighboring nodes of A are being visited. So, B and S are visited. So, now what do we perform is we perform the DQ operation. So, A is deleted. Fine. Good. Now, now let us consider node B. For node B, so is there any neighboring nodes of node B? There is no neighboring nodes of node B. So what we do is we perform the DQ operation. All the nodes of B are visited. Now what do we have in the queue right now? It is yes. Now for node S, try to explore. What are the neighboring nodes for S? The neighboring nodes of S are C and G. So let us now NQ into the queue. It is node C and G. Fine. And let us write down the sequence also C and G. Now, what is in the uh, queue? Yes is at the top. So now let us write down, check out, is all the nodes of S being explored? Yes, it is all visited. Now what we perform is we perform the DQ operation. Fine. Now, what is the next node in the queue? It is C. Now for C, we'll explore what are its neighboring nodes. So its neighboring nodes are D, E and F. So le now let us perform the NQ operation. So let us uh, write down. D, E and F and parallelly we will write down in the sequence D, E and F. Fine. Now, now the nodes of C is all visited. Right. So now we will perform the DQ operation. Now let us move to G. Now let us check out for node G. Is there any nodes which is unvisited? Yes, we have a node of G, neighboring node of G which is unvisited which is H. So insert it into the queue. So uh, NQing H. Fine. And we will write down in the sequence also. Now. Um, is there any node of G which is uh, remains unvisited? No, it, it is visited. Now let us DQ the G. Now for D, is there any node of G which is unvisited? No, so let us DQ it. Now is there any node of E which is unvisited? No, so let us DQ it. And for node F, all the nodes are visited, so let us DQ it. And for node H, all the nodes are visited, so let us DQ it. So this is the sequence in which the Nodes are being traversed by using the depth first uh, search. See few applications of the depth first search. So this uh, depth first search can be used in topological sorting and in uh, finding the connected components like uh, solving the puzzle uh, such as maze game. So uh, in all those we use the um, DFS that is the depth first search. So mainly for topological sorting and for games these are for some of the few applications uh, now uh, in the breadth first search the applications are like um, uh, finding uh, the uh, shortest path between two nodes to find the shortest path and to test uh, whether the graph is a bipartite graph okay so all this are the uh, few examples where you can apply the uh, breadth first search uh, and the time complexity for the uh, breadth first search the time complexity will be uh, the order of uh, v plus e where v is the number of uh, nodes and the e is called as the number of edges so number of edges are e fine and the time complexity for the dfs or the depth first search is order of again v plus e so when we implement using the adjacency list so the algorithm will make sure that it travels through all the node at least once so the time complexity will include all the vertices of v so it is v plus e v is the number of nodes and the um E is the number of edges. So this is all about the depth first search and the uh, breadth first search.